Alpic Ram 2500. Uh, it's a bit of an overcast day, so we haven't been doing much today. We've driven up, it, it is dirty, it's covered in bugs um, and sand. We've been driving up the beach the last few days. But yeah, um, well, we'll start off right here. Big Tough Bar from Tough Bars Australia. So come out of Toowoomba, Australian made, it's pretty cool. I wasn't a huge fan of it um, when we first bought it, but I like it. It stands out, which is really cool. Um, Nava Spotlights, they're pretty cool. They're bright, I mean, we, they're, again, it was on there when we bought them, so when we bought it, so they're sweet. Um, GME UHF, which we'll see inside the cab. And then it's just Selfie, which is hidden behind the dash in the cab too. Um, that's handy. I think a lot of people hit and miss about it. We get a little bit more reception out at the beach now, but I mean, when we're camping, we've got cell fires. I mean, Starlink, so it doesn't really matter, but would I get one again? I probably would, but yeah. All right, down this side. Um, wheels and tires, they're a fuel 18 by 12 and a half inch wide uh, with a Nitto trail grappler, 35, 12 and a half, 18s as well. Um, they're pretty good. They bag out pretty well on the sand. I think these are 20, I want to go down to 25 PSI. I went a bit higher than normal just to see how to go. You can always let more out. Um, we've got extra sort of wider mud flaps on there. So you don't get, it's really good. We don't get too much spray down like, it sort of contains it, which is really nice. I'm used to having cars with a little bit of poke and it just throws everything everywhere. But it's nice and clean. Uh, I said it's the Cummins, so it's a 2500 with a 6.7 litre Cummins in it, um, so it's a diesel. It's actually a straight six, not a V8 like the Silverados or the F trucks. Um, so yeah, they are just a straight six. Just a small truck motor, it'll outlive all of us. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, these are actually factory towing mirrors. Um, so they just fold down. They're a factory option by Ram. Um, I don't know if they still are. I think some of the, I've seen different shapes on the newer ones, but these are the older style towing mirrors they're perfect i can see behind the van easy as that's sweet we'll come down here there's factory side steps nothing flash there fuel um ram box tubs obviously got a tub on it we toyed with having a tray and a canopy but as soon as you say american truck to anyone they throw zeros at you so i think the price triples i swear but we've made this work and it's kept it on a car license so we're not super heavy with the van on which is good um, so yeah, RAM box, we'll go in here first. So it's sort of battery air so I can fill up and not be on the, on the passenger side of the car, stay off the road, but Anadrive DC, DC, Anadrive 100 amp hour lithium battery, and then TJM twin pro compressor. It does, we timed, last time we were here, we went from 20 PSI on everything, so car and van, to 45 in the van, 45 in the rear of this, and 55 in the front. I think it only took us like half an hour. It hammers, so it's actually a really good compressor. I'm happy with that. A little bit of storage, our jumper cables and the awning, awning light cables and ropes and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, tub rack is by a friend of ours um, who has a company in Toowoomba. So there he's, uh, Andy, Andy at Ultimate Welding and Fabrication. Um, he's done other work for us. He did a dog cage on one of our other cars. Um, he does neat work. Like if you look at the welds, like that. He's really good. Real attention to detail. So he made this up for us. Um, it was rated to. We've got to build a whole rooftop tent or a tinny if we want. Um, but at the moment, it's just got nothing on there. Um, rod holders. Rear work lights which are switched from inside this ram box as well shovel holder and then up on top if Bree passes me that yeah i'll take it we've got i don't know if that was a good angle but there's four max tracks ah uh, treads not max tracks just tread version max track up there on a bracket um around the back we got Bree's small person step so you can get inside the Tarboard up here to the tracks. That's real handy. Um, tell you what, the bonus. If I was ever to get a tub, these ram boxes are the best. 
So you get storage over the wheel arches, and then in here, it's a nice, like, square tub. So you don't have to deal with wheel arches. It's a nice, just, it's just good. They nailed it with the rain box, I think. Just a hard lid, tonneau. That just sits down like that. Um, drop hitch. So this is the Kurt, Kurt Rebellion drop hitch. So twin pin. I've got another one of these just with a 50 mil ball on it. So you don't have to have a whole tongue or anything like that. You just swap this section out. So I've got it in the in the box. On the other side, got sand everywhere because we're at the beach. Uh, reverse lights, put aftermarket ones in. Um, yeah. So this ram box. We see the shovel. Shovel holder. Oh, and this is the eyelet. I'll do it at the end of the video, but where the awning pulls back to. So we just put a little stainless steel eyelet up there. This side. So we got recovery gear and tools under there. So this is super deep. Now I've got a long arm. Pull my Woolies bag of tools out. That's how deep that is. So to my elbow, look at that. That's how deep that is. And if you've seen the Ram Box ad, you could use it as an esky. You could fill it with ice. There's drain holes in each corner. If you really wanted to. But yeah, basic tools. Oh, this is the other. I just keep it in the box because it's neater. 50 mil ball. If I need that. Um, and then straps and paint and all the fun stuff. Lights in here as well. Lights on both. They've thought about it. Um... Now suspension, this has uh, King remote res suspension under it with airbags by Airbag Man. And this is actually a leaf sprung. So I think 2013, they went to coils in the rear. So probably not as good for towing weight. Like I only have to put 15 PSI in those bags once the van's on. But yeah, I'll just show you. So we got airbags and then, oh, and then King remote res shocks in there. And then we got Carly front coil springs in the front. Um, in the cab, they're massive. Well, I'll show you. I'm six foot, what am I, six two? Push that to the side. Like that's, and that's with that seat in my driving position, which is almost all the way back. So yeah, heaps of room. You could definitely fit three big blokes in here. Easy. Um, little storage. Are these from Aldi? <laughs> Aldi special. They're all right. We don't have anything in them. We don't, no one has the back seat. It's just the dogs. Um, oh, and then they've got little lockers in the, there. And then that far seat has storage under it as well. This one doesn't. This one's got a subwoofer under this one. It's got a full Alpine sound system. Oh, you need a run? Quick! Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> anyway, so 2500s come in a six-seater, or some of them have this center console. I wanted a six-seater just to have a six-seater, but we end up buying this one and I do not regret it. This center console, it's huge. So you got a top section, which is a mess. All our keys in the bottom section. Who knows what's in there? Huge center console. Oh, the only downside is this ring, we plastic dip that black, because the sun comes in, hits it, and gets you in the eyes. So that was chrome like all these ones. Um, safety Dave, twin view camera for the thing, for the caravan. Red Arc Tow Pro. These do have factory trailer brakes, which are down here, but ours don't didn't work, or they they we actually don't know what happened with them. Uh, anyway, so we just got the Red Arc. It works perfect. GME XRS just on a magnetic mount. Spotlight switch, doubled in head unit. Um, what else? These are a column shift. Oh, he put the keys in. Oh, where are the keys? Oh, they're caravan keys again. Let me find them. So, 
Oh, it's gonna ding a lot. But yeah, down to drive, down to park. That's it. Um, heated seats. Heated, cooled. Heated steering wheel, so they're my heated and cooled seats. I don't use them very often, but they're behind the screen, but you don't, don't use them every day. Um, the rear seats are heated in this one too. Um, I don't know, both visors have mirrors with lights for you women out there. But look at that, two of them. <laughs> She's flash. Um, that's about it. Auto headlights. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, sunroof. We do have a sunroof. Oh, that one. There we go. Sunroof. Oh, and then a rear window. So, that's this one. <laughs> All the scene stuck in it. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and cup holders everywhere. If you have a 79 series and you're watching this, don't be upset. Two cup holders. This one here. Two cup holders. Here again. Two cup holders. You've got, I think you've got two in your door. Two in the door. I've got one in this door. Crazy, cup holders everywhere. Jilg zone climate control. So you can have it, oh, that's on sink. So look at that, you can change that. Usually it's the other way around. Brie likes it on 35 and then I'll have it on 19. So it works. And then you just sink it and it'll go back to its thing. Tow haul mode. Exhaust brakes, which are life. If you, yeah, so handy. Um, that's about it. I think that's it. Alpine stereo. Bree's got two glove boxes in front of her. So there's one here, there, and then there's obviously that one. Um, what have we missed? We popped the bonnet. Let's pop the bonnet. Oh, uh, if, again, if you have a 79 series and you're watching this, don't be upset. This is a 2012, and I've got gas struts. Oh. That should upset some cruiser owners. Look at that. Um, but the other thing, so these actually run twin cranking batteries there's a battery on the other side but that's it it does have a mild tune we are it's running about 450 horsepower at the hubs rear hubs and 1200 newton meters of torque so it pulls like a freight train um, we definitely don't have any trouble in overtaking lanes getting up past anyone which is good we can sit at 100 comfortably all day every day that's sweet that's about it um, yeah We'll do the awning setup. Okay, super quick. We'll set this up. We bought this at the Brizzy Show. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon best value for money, 270 degree awning on the market. And this is how quick it is. Real time. Just gotta fold that right over. That didn't work. I'll just leave this one in there. Grab this side. I'll run it around to that eyelet. Put that on there. And then it's just as easy. These are a little ratchet rope, which are the greatest thing ever invented. That's it. Look at that. She flash. And then these ones have lights so I wired in a little cigarette lighter plug there for these just mind the spaghetti wiring on that so it's got warm white and bright white on both those and that's it that's there oh and that's those rear work lights so the rear two I just switched from here as well they're just uh, what are they steady steady with a little steady wiring harness but yeah it came with three ropes and a pole so this pole just sits up here and you can buy additional poles for the other legs they just 
Again, not that you need it. Like it's, it's so good. We've used it, I don't know, four or five times this week. So it's just so quick and easy to set up and pack up. Yeah. That's it. That's our 2,500 grand. Hope you ah. enjoyed it. Oh, and if you do want to know anything else about it, just hit us in the comments or on the Instagram. We'll shoot you a message back. But if you're towing a big van, American truck, it's the way to go. We love it. Thank you.